again. <laughs> another day, another, another day, video. another week. <laughs> uh, so yeah, as we continue, um, what did we talk last uh, video? We talked about um, about how, as a boss or a superior, you what can, would you like? What how, would what I like? Would and like how to create? It. How to create? Perfect. And today, I would like to share for uh, for the Raz actually from your own experiences. So as you guys can maybe relate, guys and girls, can maybe relate um, being in uh, work environments, all right? And you found yourself very frustrated. Uh, I'm super proud of Liraz realizing uh, quite a few things and she will share with you right now um, how she actually overcame all these toxic environments herself. So go ahead. Um, so from my experience, um, pre-COVID, there was no time to think. I just did, did, did. There was no calculation. There was no analyzing anything. I just did. If I needed money, I took a job. There was no other, you know, consideration. I mean, you go work for money, right? So you can pay and buy the stuff you want, need, whatever. That was where I was coming from. So I definitely took jobs in my lifetime that realizing years later, the problem was not everyone else around me. The problem was not specifically the, the tasks, each and every small task. The main issue was, it wasn't the job for me to begin with. Um, it wasn't anything I enjoyed, really truly enjoyed doing. And even if I enjoy doing the specific or the, the main global idea behind the business, behind the project, behind whatever, the role I was given was not me. It wasn't me. And it just created so much friction on a daily basis, even on an hourly basis. It was painful. It was painful. So, okay, I'm gonna interrupt you. Uh, so you're saying that basically took most of the jobs to survive. Yeah, And absolutely. you were operating from a survival. You have to take a job, you have to get the money, you have to feed yourself, you must, right? Okay, continue, so I'm just following. Um, that, that was really the, the main thing that dawned on me. Um, if I am doing something now in the last year, I've had chances to do things I am really passionate about. Some of them I've been passionate about for years and years. Some of them I didn't even know I would be passionate about, yet before I wouldn't even discover it because I just automatically took whatever I could. So Wait, another question. Was the last year chances presented to you? Or no, you I created them completely. Another thing, beautiful. Completely. Beautiful. I am creating something out of nothing. I don't even know what I'm creating. I have no idea, but it feels right. It's amazing. It's, I'm getting goosebumps talking about it. And that's what I want, really, from every day of my life. I want to feel goosebumps. I want to be moved. I want to be connecting. I want to be sharing. That's me. That's me in my personal life. So Beautiful. I get to have that for the one thing that takes up the most of my time. Correct. Work. Absolutely. Uh, so basically, what you're saying to, um, let's see, uh, please, on the top of it, leave comments and more questions if you have. But that's what I'm hearing from uh, Leraz. Leraz is saying that it wasn't really about the jobs or maybe even the nasty boss, uh, or at least the majority of her frustrations didn't come from outside. Most of the frustrations and the torture and the suffering was created within you because to begin with, you did not do the jobs that you loved to do. You didn't enjoy what you were up to. Yeah. And so basically, when you changed what you were being, right, you decided that you will create chances for yourself from nothing and tackle them with the skills that is gifted to you, everything changed. Everything changed. Beautiful. So basically, we're constantly checking in 
First of all, before you want anything from the boss, from another co-worker, right? What are you being? Are you being in the right place? Is that even a job for you? Is even the team that you're working with fits within you? Absolutely. That's awesome to hear. That's beautiful. And if anybody doesn't really understand what a being means, um, within this quantum uh, transformation and QLL center and seminar that we do, and even in the, um, throughout the videos that we're making now, we will be tackling this. We will be explaining, elaborating, and going deeper on what is truly that being that we are or we choose to be. Thank you, Luras, for your experiences. And I think that is very, very important to check in, first of all, with yourself. You want your boss to be a great boss? Are you a great employee? So we'll leave you at this, with this video, at this question, to ponder, to question yourself and to notice. And then we'll continue next week or, or, or later on, right? Have a beautiful, beautiful rest of the day. Bye. Bye.